Hi everyone, this is Lisa from No Problem Consulting. Um, today I would like to talk about the BCPMP program because people would love to move to British Columbia and uh, they were complaining about not being able to get their permanent residency in British Columbia because it is not easy and I will tell you why it is not easy and what will be the best way for you to apply for your permanent residency throughout the BC Provincial Nominee Program and it is not for everyone. That's something that I can guarantee. Um, so, so here's the thing, um, so I personally recommended that everyone, um, if your choice of the location to um, immigrate to Canada was BC only, then the only, the easiest way, easiest position that you can apply for the permanent residency in BC is early childhood program. And I'll tell you why and I will give you the detailed explanation on why I came to this um, conclusion. So here's the thing. Um, I am scrolling through what is going on with BCPMP. So BCPMP is competitive um, permanent residence stream. So you either have a very, very high score um, by meeting all the requirements for your permanent residency. So in this case, I will just show you what was the latest BCPMP uh, score on their website. So um, on May 16, um, they invited the total candidates um, of 162 people and then the minimum cutoff score uh, to be invited on May 16th was normally 104. I'm just saying it because this is most of the um, applicants are applying for their permanent residency. So it, it was 104. And I'll also tell you how hard it is to get your um, score of 104. So this is just comparison that I'm making. Um, what would probably need for you to get that 104 score? So this is one of the uh, simulation module that I used from my own clients. Uh, for example, he's got the um, direct related work experience uh, for 20 score points. So that's basically you have three or more uh, direct work experience in the position that you were offered. And then there is experience in Canada. If you have a one full time experience in Canada, you will get score point of 10. And um, you are currently working full time at offered position, then you can also get the point of 10. And the high level of education was actually masters, so you get 22. And then the language was the big one, so if you get um, each band of 8888, then you will get the, the point for 25. And then total human capital factor subtotal is 87. And unfortunately, these candidates were hired in downtown Vancouver and at the wage of $30 per hour. So he would not get any PMP area extra points for that. And also he would not get regional work experience or regional alumni points. So the total here is 102. And this candidate is a very promising candidate. And even for him, it is not cutting off this minimum score. I mean, it's very likely that this will happen sooner than the later because 104 uh, could go down to less than 100. Um, so this, if your credential is not good enough, not as good as this person in this video, I would say your chances of getting your BCPMP invitation is very, very low. So maybe it's time for you to look into some other way of uh, getting your permanent residency in BC. And hence why early child educator program is the way to go. Look at this. If you get into this targeted draw, early child educator and assistant only requires a 60 cutoff score for you to be able to invite it for the BCPMP. If you are not quite so sure how you can get the score of 60, I would say if you have a bachelor's degree and then if you have English score of 5555 and then if you are making $23 per hour, and then if you have one year full-time experience and if you're currently working full-time in BC, that's good enough. So compared to that, this 
is easy peasy. I definitely think that it is really not a wise choice for you to want to come to BC and get your permanent residency and then you are so reluctant to go with this occupation and especially like from what I see in the trending of uh, PR, um, probably 90% of my clients that uh, has successfully applied for the BC PMP program under this ECE, Early Child Educator Target Draw. So when you think about it, like of all those other occupations, I've got so many sushi chefs, I've got so many bakers working in BC, I've got um, a lot of admin assistants, um, accountants, those people, like they were all working really hard and then they were trying to get their score up. And to be perfectly honest with you, getting the BC PMP score higher than 100 is not easy. And, and that's not really for the everyone. But if you can somehow, even like considering changing of your occupation for uh, early child educator, then your chances of getting your permanent residency would triple or, or maybe quadruple. Um, but you have to play your card right. If you think that maybe because you're a chef and then maybe like eight years from now on, if you just keep adding those uh, direct experience score, it's still not possible. It is not that easy to get that score up because there are so many number, like so many additional uh, score that you can add by putting more experience in and also by putting higher um, English scores in. So I've seen that it happens so many times, like very experienced sushi chef um, works in BC for 10 years and then he still did not get his permanent residency and that's quite sad in a way that he must have probably spent 10,000 maybe 20,000 on only for his LMIA application and and not only that just 10 years like decades is a big waste of your time um, when you're thinking about that so if you're willing like if you're open-minded and if you're willing to listen to what like consultants has to offer it's not just because i want the money from you it's more like i wanted to give you the exact reason why you should do this instead of just telling you hey you should just change your occupation because it sucks it's not even that point and as you can see you can see the reason why the early child educator occupation or going through that stream for your BCPMP, it's way to go if you really wish to get your permanent residency. And then there are so many ways for you to get that job by applying for uh, classes in BC, or you can actually directly apply for the job in uh, daycare centers, or you can request for the um, job recruitment services. And um, it's just one thing that you need to understand is you need to have a proper certificate to apply for this position and then there are ways of getting those um, certificates so if you need help on those um, we are here to help you and I really want everyone to be able to um, immigrate in BC because I'm located in BC and I've been so many different area of Canada and then BC is probably so far the best place um, in Canada I believe to get by not because it's the weather. I think it's got the very good balance between like work and life and then nature, uh, mountains, beaches, oceans, like everything kind of mixed well together. And also you will get to have like all this melting pot of uh, food culture too. You can get the best Vietnamese food here, Filipinos food, Af African food, uh, Western food. Like BC isn't too, not too bad if you can get your permanent residency. And I'm just getting very, very frustrated by what people been telling other people that, hey, it's impossible to get permanent residency in BC, but it is not true. You just have to learn, have to understand, have to accept that there are other ways of doing so. That's why I'm trying to build up this video so that I can educate people out there who had to give up on you know coming to BC because of these reasons so please tune in and subscribe for my channel for further instruction well not really like further video um, me explaining about other ways of getting your permanent residency here because I've been there and I've done that so thank you for watching my video and hopefully I will get to talk to you soon bye